Hello, it's Roger Cox from Health and Freedom with Roger Cox uh, coming at you again. And I want to, want to ask you, uh, what do you do when your network marketing sponsor quits? You know, that's something that happens to a lot of uh, people in network marketing. They, they join a company and they're expecting to get all this help from their sponsor. Maybe their sponsor has even promised them that they will, will do all the work for them. They'll, they'll train them. They'll, they'll help them be successful. And for a lot of people, that's not the case. You know, their sponsor will quit or uh, they're, they're left high and dry or maybe their sponsor lives a long ways away. So what do you do? What can you do? And the advice I have for you is to don't depend upon your sponsor uh, for those very reasons. It's, your sponsor may become non-existent. Um, you really need to become your own leader anyway. You need to, to learn the business. You need to, to study. You need to learn what to do. Um, you need to become the leader. I uh, recently just read something. This is a, a magazine that I subscribe to called Networking Times. And uh, they interviewed a person by the name of Juan Carlos. Yeah, I got that name right, Juan Carlos. And I just wanted to read something that he had said about when he started his business. Uh, he was brand new, and this was his very first presentation that he was going to make. And uh, this is what he said. I planned my first meeting and invited one friend in addition to my brother's sponsor. My friend came and brought another person, but my brother's sponsor never showed up. We now had a problem, as we had no idea how to present this business. This was before cell phones. We delayed the presentation, but after one hour, we realized that our sponsor was not coming. So I decided to do the presentation myself. I learned an important lesson that day that set the tone for the rest of my network marketing career. In that moment, I had to take the role of the upline, not the downline. I had to be the father, not the child. I didn't have time to cry or complain because there was no one to complain to. I chose to take charge of the situation and my business. That day I realized I have all the control in my hand of what's going to happen in my life. I didn't need to depend on anyone or on whether my upline was going to show up or not. So there you go. Uh, the best way to be the best network marketer that you can be is to assume the responsibility. Um, learn what it is you need to do. Uh, learn it so well that you can teach it. And then uh, if your sponsor decides to quit or change to another company, you're not left high and dry. You've, you've got a, a skill set that you can that you can build and can grow on. So there you go. My video for today on this uh, fine Tuesday afternoon here in Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh, if you like the if you like the video, if you got value out of it, like it, share it, comment on it. Um, if you want to talk to me personally, you can get my contact information from my Facebook page, which is Health and Freedom with Roger Cox. Um, have a great afternoon. Thanks. Bye.